What is the essence of machine learning? Hi, I'm Bill Carmody. And today what we're gonna talk about is the essence of machine learning so we can apply it to our business. Now, the thing about machine learning is, is that it's enabling computers to automatically improve their performance on a specific task by learning from the data. So this is something that's not being explicitly programmed. So in other computer systems, you have to tell it what to do. But in machine learning, it actually is learning from the information without being explicitly programmed to do so. Machine learning algorithms analyze any type of data set and then learn from that data and then make predictions and classifications about new and unseen information. So for example, if it have a whole bunch of data, a human would look at all that and say, and I don't know what to do with this information. And instead what machine learning does is it highlights the things that are most important and saying, hey, check out this trend or take a look at something else along those lines. The algorithms continuously learn and improve as they're given more data, making the predictions more accurate over time. So while you have small data sets, you're going to get a little bit of insight, but the bigger the data sets come out, the more effective it's going to be. So think about Amazon, for example. You know, Amazon has massive data sets. And so all the time it's constantly churning through that data to say, hey, what are people buying? What else are they buying? You know, that recommended engine at the bottom that says people who bought this also bought that. That's machine learning to put on steroids to say, here's all the information with the shopping habits of our users. Right. And so machine learning is key to technology in the field of artificial intelligence and has wide ranging applications in areas such as image recognition. So you think about that, like your face and saying what else, uh, the uh, security, for example, at the airport. And they look at someone's face and they say, oh, this is a known terrorist. We're going to be able to stop something before it happens or that you use your face to actually uh, unlock your phone. Right. Facial recognition as that grows, the more data it has, machine learning can start to say, see patterns and trends. So if they're trying trying to stop uh, you know, a person who's running around in the streets, they can say, hey, that facial recognition says this is where that person is right now, cross-reference with their cell phone data, and suddenly uh, the authorities have a much better idea of how to actually catch a, per a person that they're trying to go after. Natural language processing is some of the things we'll be showing to you today, which is you are asking a simple question like you're talking to another human being and you get back a really powerful response. Recommendation systems are things like helping people understand uh, what would what should I do in this particular situation. So machine learning learns from patterns and says, here's what I would recommend based on this work. Uh, and then predictive modeling, any type of work that basically says, hey, I'm thinking about uh, what would happen if. So in a business, if you're like putting together hypotheticals, if you have enough data, you can predict the future of what you want to be doing. So machine learning is a great aspect of, of artificial intelligence. But for our purposes today, we're going to be thinking about natural language processing. And then how do you actually communicate with a machine that gives you information and outputs that you want to see relatively easily? This is going to empower you to do a lot of effective business transactions, whether that's effective communication in your business, whether that's external communication for for business uh, marketing and digital marketing, uh, any type of email content or blog posts or any type of social media outreach, things of that nature, you can use artificial intelligence to be very effective in that as long as you keep putting yourself into it. See, the thing that most people don't understand is, is that they think I press a button and all the information comes out. And that's true, but if you just regurgitate that, you haven't put yourself in there. So keep coming back to what's the value that you are providing in this particular conversation. Enhance that value and it becomes infinitely more effective when you're reaching out to both your customers and also your external um, uh, prospects.